Hey everyone, welcome back to Outriders. I hope that everybody is having an absolutely fantastic day. And if you guys are, make sure that you guys go ahead and leave a comment down below because I would love to know how you guys are doing today. That being said, what are we going to be talking about in today's video? Well, obviously you clicked on either the thumbnail or the title. So this is what we're going to be going over. And this is something that is drastically holding your character back. With, especially in regards to your survivability in expeditions it does not matter if you guys are at the beginning stages of getting just getting into the expeditions or even a c15 if this one simple trick can actually drastically improve your survivability very very easily just making a couple changes can easily just improve your armor your health and other stats virtually instantly so anyway, let's go ahead and dive into today's video. But if you guys are enjoying these types of videos from me, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. All right, let's go ahead and jump into our inventory and take a look at everything that we're going to be talking about today's in today's video. So you can see right here, this is my secondary character. Obviously, you can't tell that by looking at it, but I am currently a CT12, and we can look at my stats right here, and you can see that my maximum wearable level, item level, is 47. So CT12 is where I'm currently at. So that means that all of my pieces of gear could be maxed out at a level 47, and obviously getting up to that level 47 or making sure that everything that you guys currently have, whether it's armor or weapons, is always at the highest level you guys can possibly be at. Obviously, you want to be able to make sure that this makes sense in some run regards because you obviously want pieces that make sense. So I'm going to show you guys something here real quickly in regards to armor. This is where I think things get a little bit buggy and I know that they're buggy and I'm guessing that at some point in time, this is going to be changed or fixed or enhanced in some capacity on either the server side, game side, or however Outriders decides to change it. So. Anyway, I actually bring stuff from my main character, which is a trickster over to my secondary class, which you guys can see in the upper left hand corner. I am a technomancer, so putting these pants on doesn't really make any sense, but it's a great example of what we're talking about in today's video. So I'm not going to put these pants on and leave them on permanently, but you can see that obviously just by putting them on, I'm increasing my armor drastically by almost 2000. So if I put those on, you're going to see that my armor goes up by basically the difference which is 1700 okay that is the difference now every once in a while there we go i got it to actually go ahead and do it my max health will actually change but you saw that the first time that i clicked on it it didn't change anything which is really interesting because this piece of armor doesn't have it has no effect with max health there's an attribute that you guys can go ahead and get if that is something that you guys want to increase your maximum health possibility and potential so but this has nothing to do with it it has something to do with healing received which is only healing received but not improving your health so why did it increase from 8100 to 9100 beats the hell out of me i don't understand it and this is where i think that the glitch is definitely taking in place now obviously if this had said instead of healing received said max health that would be a completely different story let's see if i have anything that actually says max health there we go right there does it increase my max health by 432 so there we go now i just put on something a little bit more my armor went down a little bit but my maximum health went up so by changing one piece from a level 45 to a 47 i changed my armor but not the first time i had to undo it and then click on it again and i got more health but then the second time i clicked on something that actually has something to do with max health i increased it by another 432 which means that just by changing one armor piece, one armor piece from a level 45 to a level 47, I enhanced my health by 1400 points. Weird. You would think that your health has everything to basically to, uh, with your current level. So in my case, CT 12, but it has almost nothing to do with that. There is a, like a base platform so my base is 1867 and then for all the enhancements i'm getting basically the 7688 so that's all of the additional bonuses that i'm getting from the equipment that i'm currently using 
but here is where things get really crazy is how can you guys actually increase it by even that much more obviously me wearing these pants makes no sense because i'm not a trickster i'm a technomancer so i can't use anything with slow trap so i can only increase my armor and my maximum health i don't get the benefits of those mods now if i can get a mod on here and i can replace that slow trap with something else then it could potentially make some sense but this isn't something that i want even the attributes that i'm looking for so i really don't need it i'm just giving this as an example now let's move over to our weapons and this is where things get really interesting weapons are weapons they deal you know firepower right damage they do a lot of damage but what the hell do they have to do anything with health is beyond me it does not make any freaking sense whatsoever so we have right here is a curtain pistol that i've been using since i've been a level 29 pretty much the end of the story for me and uh i don't use my sidearms at all so i want to go ahead and basically get rid of it i'm just gonna i brought something over from my other account from my main account just to use they both are 47 i equip one of these nothing happens let's undo it click it again oh my health went down a lot right now let's click it again but my health went back up magically it was at what 12 or 9.5 and now it's magically at 11.9 glitchy i think so so i got the glitch to actually happen the way that i thought it should happen so if you guys kind of see it so just by changing one weapon from a was it 29 to a level 47 my health didn't change, but then I swapped it back and put it back on. It went back up to 11.9. So by changing one weapon and one piece of armor, I've increased my health from 8,100 to 11.9. 11,900, almost a three, almost a 4,000 increase in health by changing out two items. Now I do have one more that I can do here, which is a level 40. But well, we're just going to take a look at our stats here real quick. You can see that our max wearable item level is 47 and our average item level is 46. You want that to stay 47. You want those top two numbers to be exactly the same to make sure that your health is at its max potential. So how we're going to do that? Well, we're going to change out this weapon here, which is a level 40. I know that I have in here. I have other weapons that are definitely higher. Uh, this one is a 47 so we're just going to go and equip that one again the health did not change it stays at 11.9 but when we change it back to another weapon that was a 46 right it increased my health from 11.9 to 13.2 so i've increased my health over 5,000 just from changing out two weapons and one piece of armor why do weapons have any effect on my health is beyond me. It does not make any sense to me. It is completely stupid in my opinion, but it is exactly how it works. So again, if you guys are stuck on a very specific level on a CT and you're going, God, I just, I am just dying way too quickly. I'm getting one shot in. This is stupid. Why is this happening to me? Ultimately, just take a look at your two numbers right here in the stats and make sure that they are the same. It does not really matter what you equipped. As long as you equip them, obviously, when it comes to armor and even the weapons add the mods, that makes sense. But if you're only using one weapon and now I like in my main character, I never use my sidearm. So I just equipped something that is a level 50 because that's as high as my level. Anybody's level can be is the level 50 and that just makes sense so that way i get the maximum health benefit from that even though i never use them so just kind of go through these and obviously as you're upgrading your armor making sure that you're finding the attributes that you want and making sure that as you level up you're leveling up your pieces whether you're keeping them or replacing them with new things that you guys have been receiving from those expeditions so definitely keep those things in mind when you guys are doing that so this is probably one massive thing that is holding you guys back from your survivability capabilities and possibilities inside of the expeditions and i hope that you guys did find this helpful or enjoyable and if you guys did make sure that you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys Day gaming.